common to SPS too. We are from the first group that will presenting about lesson planning and uh, and classroom management. In our the, uh, in our discussion, there are four sub four sub material. There are definition of lesson planning and classroom management, and then step for preparing a lesson plan, and then presenting the lesson plan, and the last one is reflecting on your lesson plan. Okay, the first I will present about definition of lesson planning and classroom management. Definition of lesson planning and classroom management. A lesson plan is a instructor road map of what students need to learn and how it will be done effectively during the class time. Before you start your plan, the first you will need to identify the learning subjective of the class meeting. Then you can design a appropriate learning activity and develop strategies to obtain feedback of student learning. There are three key components that can make a successful lesson plan. The first is teaching or learning activity and then strategies to check student understanding and the last one is specifying concrete objective for student learning will help you determine the students of teaching and learning activities that you will help in the class and the next one is classroom management classroom management uh, that includes with it's being prepared for class and then it's motivating your students and then it's effective discipline and then it's providing a safe comfortable and learning environment it is building your student self as term and is being creative and imaginative in the lesson. The next one is step for preparing lesson plan. There are six steps for preparing lesson plan. The first is outline learning objective and then develop the introduction, plan the specific learning activities or the main body of the lesson plan to check for understanding develop a conclusion and preview and last one is create a realistic timeline for the first is outline learning objective the first step is to determine what you want students to learn and able to do at the end of the class to help you specify your objectives for student learning, answer the following question. What is the topic of the lesson? What do I want students to learn? What do I want them to understand and be able to do at the end of the class? What do I want them to take away from this particular lesson? Okay, once you outline the learning objective for the class meeting random in terms of their importance this step will prepare you to uh, for managing class time and accomplishing the most important learning objectives in case you are praised for time Consider for the following question. What are the most important concepts, ideas, or skills a one student to be able to grasp and apply? Why? Why are they important? If I run out of time, 
which one could not be a magic? Okay, the next is number two. This love introduction. Now, you can learning objectives in order of their importance. Design the specific activities you will use to get students to understand and apply what they have learned. Because you will help a dis diverse body of students with different academic and personal experience. They may already be familiar with the topic. That is why you might start with a question or activity to gauge students' knowledge of the subject or possibility. Their preconceived notions about it. For example, you can take a simple poll. How many of you have read of each? Raise your hand if you have. You can also gather background information from your students prior to class by sending students an electronic survey or asking them to write comments on index card. This additional information can help save your introduction, learning activities, or it is easy. Develop a creative introduction to the topic to simulate interest and encourage thinking. You can use a variety of approaches to engage students. Example, personal anecdote and then historical event truth prof, truth, prof, provoking a dilemma real world example short video clip practical and the others okay that's all about me and then the next will be explained by my friend everyone welcome back with me again uh, my name is Nigidi Dia Sutarisunawati, you can call me Dia and today I want to presentation about three material and the first material is plan the specific learning activities or the mind body of the lesson and the second one is plan to check for understanding and the last one is develop a conclusion and a preview First one is plan the specific learning activities or the mind body of the lesson. Prepare several different ways of explaining the material or real life example, analogies, visual, and so on. To catch the attention of more students and appeal to different learning styles. As you plan your example and activities, estimate how much time you will spend on each. Build in a time for extended explanation or discussion. But also, be prepared to move on quickly to different applications or problems and to identify, identify strategies that check for understanding. This question would have you design the learning activities you will use. Uh, the first one is, what will I do to explain the topic? And the second one is, what will I do to illustrate the topic in a different way? And the third one is, how can inject student in the topic? And the fourth one is what are so, some relevant real life example, analogies, or situation that that can help students understanding the topic. And the last one is what will be students need to do to help them understanding the topic better. 
and now uh, that's all about the first material and for and for the second material is plan to check for understanding now that you have explained the topic and illustrated it with different example you need to check for student understanding how will you know that students are learning think about specific question you can ask student in order to check for understanding write them down and they prepare them so that you are prepared to ask the question in different ways try to the to predict the answer the answer your question will generate decide on whether you want student to respond orally or in writing and the first one is what what question will ask student to check for understanding and the second one is what will i have student to the demonstrate it that they are following and the last one is going back to my list of learning objectives what activity can i have student do to check whether each or of those has been a calm place and an important strategy that will also have you with time management is to anticipate student students creation when planning your lesson decide what kinds of creation will be productive for discussion and what question might sidetrack that cl the class and think about and decide on the balance between covering uh, content or ac accomplishing your learning objectives and ensuring the student understand the last material is develop a conclusion and a preview go over the material conferred in class by summarizing the main points of the lesson you can do this uh, in a number of ways you can state the main point yourself or today we talk about and you can ask a student to have uh, your you summarize them and or you can even even ask all students to write down to write down on a piece of paper what they think were the main points of the lesson and you can review uh, the students answer to gauge their understanding of the topic and then explain anything explain anything unclear the following class and conclude the lesson not only by summarizing uh, the main points uh, but also by previewing uh, the next lesson and how does the topic relate the, to the one that's coming this preview will support students uh, interest and help them connect the different ideas within a large context and it's all about the material from me and uh, I hope the material can help you for the planning activities learning and Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Okay, I want to explain the final step is to create a realistic timeline. How easy it is to control time and not all points they have planned to cover. For example, a list of term learning goals in unrealistic. So narrow your list down two or three main concepts idea or skill that you would like student to have. Your prioritized list of learning goals will help you make that that decision as well and tailor your plan accordingly.
a realistic timeline will reflect your flexibility and readiness to adapt to a particular classroom environment. There are several strategies for creating a realistic timeline. The first estimate how much time each of the activities will take, then plan some extra time for each. And the second, when you prepare your lesson plan, next to each activity, indicate how much time you expect will it will take. And the third, plan a few minutes at the end of class to answer any remaining question and to sum up key points. And the fourth, plan an extra activity or discussion question in case you have time left. And the last, be, a flex be flexible, be ready to adjust your lesson plan to student needs and focus on what seems to be more productive rather than sticking to your original plan okay the next point is presenting the lesson plan letting your students know what they will be learning and doing in class will help keep them more agenda and on track you can share your lesson plan by writing a brief agenda on the board or telling or telling students explicitly what they will be learning and doing in class. You can outline on the board or on a handout the learning objective for the class. Proving a meaningful organization of the class time can can help students not only remember better, but also follow your presentation and understand the rationale behind in class activities. Having a clearly visible agenda on the board will also help you and students stay on track. The last point is reflecting on your lesson plan. A lesson plan may not work as well as you had expected due to a number of extraneous circumstances. You should not get discouraged. It happened to even the most experienced teachers. Take a few minutes after each class to reflect on what work well and why and what you could have do differently that's all thank you